Okay, our lesson here, I can calculate perimeter, perimeter, okay? That word, perimeter, perimeter. Okay, what I want you to do is go perimeter, like that. Can you do that for me? Perimeter. Why am I saying it like that? Well, perimeter is the length around the outside of a shape. So it's this plus this plus this plus this, yeah? Perimeter. Perimeter. That is the way that you're going to remember. It is the distance around the outside of a shape. This is going to be really important in life if you are doing anything to do with construction. Maybe you are in sports. Uh, maybe you've got a, a job where you're building things. You need to know the distance around. It's not only for the amount of material, but it might be how far something is going. Okay, if I am running a race, for example, the perimeter of the track is the distance that I go all the way around the outside of the track. Okay, I might need to know, if I'm a space engineer, I might want to know the perimeter of the moon, I might want to see how far all the way around it's going to be. Okay, perimeter is the distance around something. Okay, in fact, you know what, you might need this if you're doing your room up, maybe you are um, trying to do some uh, fabric around your room, maybe you're building skirting board uh, for your room. You need to know the distance that is going to be around the shape of that area. Okay. So, perimeter, perimeter, how do we do it? Well, let's say I know a little bit of information. One thing that you're probably going to need to make this easier is a ruler, okay? I'm looking around for a ruler and I can't even see one right now. You might not have one at home, okay? But don't worry, it's not going to be pointless if you don't have a ruler at home doing this because there's easy ways to get around it. I'll show you, you just make it up. So, let's say this is a square. Hmm. If this side of the square is four, and let's just say centimetres to make life easy, four centimetres, hey, tell your partner what must the length of that side be. Tell them now, go. Absolutely, that must be four centimetres. In fact, hopefully you told them that each side of a square is equal. That's what makes it a square. Every side is equal, okay? It has four right angles, right angle in the corners. Okay, there are my right angles. If you're wondering what a right angle is, really good to watch the other video all about recognizing different angles. Okay, so each side of this square is four centimeters. So how am I gonna work out the perimeter? Hmm, well, I'm going to add them up, aren't I? Yeah, it is basically four and four and four and four. In other words, four times four. The perimeter of this square would be four and four and four and four, which equals 16. I know that because four times four is 16. I didn't actually count out four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No need to do that, is it? It's four fours. Okay, that's the perimeter of that square. This is an equilateral triangle, an equilateral triangle. If this is an equilateral triangle and this side is three centimeters, what are the other two sides if it's an equilateral triangle? Pause. Good. If it's an equilateral triangle, they must all be the same length. The clue is in the word equilateral. They are equal, each side. So, simple, isn't it? The perimeter of this shape must be what? Tell me. Nine centimetres. Three, six, nine. Just adding them together. It's as simple as that. Let's have a look at this uh, rectangle that we've got here. Let's say that this is five and this is two. Hey, if that's five and that's two, what must that and that be? I hope you know by now, that must be two, that must be five. Let's rub some of this out. Put equals nine in there, just so you know. So, what have we got here? Well, they're not all the same length. It's a, a rectangle and an oblong. A square is a special type of rectangle, isn't it? But this one here, it uh, has, these are five, this is two, so I'm just gonna add it all together. Well, if I use my in-house number method that you might see in another video, I'm gonna move my number bond to five and five is 10, and then two and two is four, 10 and four is 14. This must equal 14. Nice and easy. Okay, let's do a couple more with me, and then I'm gonna leave some for you to have a go at, because you know what? Perimeter is really, really easy. There's nothing hard about it whatsoever. So let's say that this is three, uh, this is five and uh, this is seven. Okay, what's the perimeter of that shape? Work it out. Okay, now that you're back, uh, seven and three is ten and five is fifteen. 
Simple, could it be more easy? So, I'll tell you what, I'll pop a couple on for you to have a go at, and then um, I'll tell you what your little task for me at home is in a second. So, here I have got a, um, I'm gonna write here that it's a square, and uh, kind of oblong here for you, and uh, I'll tell you what, we'll just have, a, we'll just have another um, equilateral triangle for you there. Okay, right, uh, this is my square, it's a square, and this side's length here is five centimeters. This is my rectangle, the length of this side here is uh, 12 centimeters, and this here is six centimeters. This is my equilateral triangle, and uh, the length of this here is uh, 33 centimeters. Okay, equilateral means that each of those is going to be the same length. Could you have a little go at working out what the perimeter of each of those shapes is now? Pause. Okay, now that you're back, obviously if one side of a square is five, each side is going to be five, so five, 10, 15, 20, that would have equaled 20, 20 what? Centimeters. Make sure that you've got the unit of measurement available too. Okay, if this is 12, that must be 12. Well, 12 and 12 is 24. If that is six, that must be six. So six and six is 12. So 24 at 12 is 36. Done? No, 36 centimeters. Equilateral triangle, if that's 33, that's 33, that's 33. Okay, pretty easy actually, isn't it? 33 add 33 is 66. Add 33 will be 99. That is 99. Done? Wrong. Centimeters. Okay, that is the perimeter of the shape. Remember, perimeter, perimeter. It is the distance around the outside of the shape. Okay, at some point we'll also be looking at area, which is the area inside the shape, but that's for another video. All right, your little challenge then at home, what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to simply, if you don't have a ruler, don't worry, if you do have a ruler, perfect, I want you to draw some different shapes for me, label the, uh, the shape, uh, label each side, sorry, and then show me what the perimeter is. If you don't have a ruler, find a flat surface, uh, a flat surface that you can draw lines with, okay, it could be uh, the side of um, a fork, or it could be the edge of a book, okay, you work it out. And uh, I'd like you to just create some shapes, yeah? Could be squares, rectangles, triangles, hexagons, pentagons. You can just pop the uh, length on it. It doesn't need to be accurate. But what does need to be accurate is that if you show me what each side is, I want to know exactly what the perimeter is. And you show me the calculations and then email me your answers to me. Off you go, perimeter.